Hi and welcome to Denny High Maths Numeracy Across Learning Support videos. Today we're going to be rounding to one decimal place. When we are rounding a number to one decimal place, we always look at the second decimal figure. In this case, I mean the second number after the decimal point. If the second number after the decimal point is a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round our digit up by 1. If it is a 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, we leave our digit as it is. So if we look at example 1, we are going to round 8.26 to one decimal place. So if I circle the second decimal figure, which is a 6, we are going to round our digit up by 1. So rounding to one decimal place will give us 8.26. Three. Example 2. We're going to round 16.74 to one decimal place. Now the second digit after the decimal point is a 4. Now since this is below 5, our digit is going to stay as it is. So we end up with 16.7. Example 3, we're going to round 15.75 to one decimal place. So the second decimal figure, in this case, is a 5. If it's 5 or above, we round our digit up. So this becomes 15.8. Example 4, we're going to round 0 0.68 to one decimal place. So I'm going to circle the second decimal figure, which in this case is an 8. Now since it's above 5, we're going to round up, which will give us an answer of 0 0.7. Number 5, you can see here that we've got three numbers after the decimal point. However, that does not matter. We are still going to circle the second decimal figure after point. So in this case, it is a 6. Now since it's 5 or above, we are still going to round up, which would give us an answer of 2.4. It doesn't matter how many numbers you have after your point. If you're rounding to one decimal place, you always circle the second decimal figure and that number will determine whether the digit moves up or it stays the same. Thank you for listening. I hope you now understand how to round to one decimal place.